fun. Welcome to welcome to welcome to welcome to grub with, with the Grissets family food and fun. Welcome to welcome to welcome to welcome to grub with the Grissets family food and fun. Welcome to to grub with the Grissets. We are second to the one. Welcome to grub with the Grissets. Hey guys, what is going on today? This morning I am doing homeschool with my lovely son Christian. Say hi. Hi. All right. So today is a is a holiday. It is a national, international holiday. And it Women's is, Day. It is Women's Day. Yes, it is International Women's Day. And um, I'm gonna be teaching my son about that today. So I thought, why not show you guys how I do my homeschool of history, and why not talk about women? I'm a woman, and he needs to know about them. So I'm gonna. Um, show him about a woman so I can get one. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Um, so I'm going to show him um, African American woman, woman. Her name is Dr. Mae Jamison, and we're going to talk about her today. Um, she was an astronaut and she also was a scientist and she also wrote books. So I just wanted you guys to be a part of my lesson. I'm going to teach my son um, because he needs to know these things not only about black men but also black women because back then I told him that as a woman I couldn't do much they wouldn't give us jobs you know being a lawyer or a doctor was not for women so this woman here she wants to be an astronaut and she got to become an astronaut she didn't care what people said she didn't care how people looked at her she knew what she wanted to do and she got to do it so I want him to um, appreciate women, period, but appreciate black women also. So I hope you guys enjoy this uh, video with us, right? I'm, I'm gonna read to you before we uh, look on the video. I wanna read something to my son about her so that he at least knows um, who she is, all right? So her name was, are you listening? Mm -hmm. Let me so her, her name was Dr. Mae Jamison, right? She was the first African-American woman in space. She was accepted as a NASA astronaut in 1987. That's the year, no, I was born in 1986. So she was around when I was born. So I, I was born in 1986. She became an astronaut in 1987. And in 1992, she was selected to fly in the space shuttle. Yes, she was. She was flying in in a shuttle in endeavor as a mission specialist. Dr. Jameson was responsible for conducting experiments during the shuttle mission. She was a part of that. She was an African American woman. And remember, I told you like back then. Nobody took you serious if you wanted to be something like this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna watch a video and you guys are gonna watch it with us. Come on. Dr. May C. Jemison, the first African-American woman to enter space. Dr. May C. Jemison is an American engineer, physician, and NASA astronaut, born October 17, 1956, in Decatur, Alabama. Growing up, May was the youngest child of her parents, Charlie and Dorothy Jemison. Her father was a carpenter and her mother was a teacher. In school, May was always encouraged by her family and she did very well earning a scholarship and attending Stanford University. May also enjoyed dance, theater production, and participated in her black student union. May would go on to earn her degree in chemical engineering and later would earn her medical degree working as a general practitioner. Another cool thing Macy Jemison did was work with the Peace Corps as a medical officer teaching and doing medical research. Wanting to pursue her dreams, May would change careers and apply for admission to NASA's astronaut training program. This would be tough with thousands of people trying to get in. Being the first is always a challenge and one of the first that May is known for becoming the first African-American woman to be admitted into the astronaut training program on June 4th, 1987. After many years of hard work, May C. 
Jennison would see her dreams of going into space come true on September 12, 1992, when she went into orbit aboard the Space Shuttle Endeavor with six other astronauts. Alright guys, really fast, we're about to watch another video, so just check it out with us, okay? Alright. And would literally, literally ignore her during class. Aww. Well, in spite of all of the obstacles, Mary Carol Jensen went on to obtain her medical degree from Cornell University. She joined the Peace Corps and practiced medicine in places like Cuba, Kenya, Liberia, Sierra Leone, and Thailand. September 12, 1992 was the first black female to travel into space. Jameson was a bit of a renaissance woman. She loved to dance and was an accomplished dancer. Whoa! There she goes! <laughs> like I was saying, Jameson is a renaissance woman. She loved dance and was an accomplished dancer. back and uh, we just got done learning about Dr. Mae Jamison and um, I have some questions for Christian. So Christian, what did you think of of May? What do you think of Dr. Mae Jamison? What did you think of her? So uh, when she first started getting a job, she started doing science and then more science. Yeah. But then one day she had a dream to go to follow her dreams mm -hmm. into space. Oh, okay. Do you think they made it easier for her? No, she didn't get to go to to. I I learned that when when people would get her down, mm -hmm. she would stand back up and she would and she would do it. She, yeah. She will. She will believe in herself. Believe in herself and do the dream that she wants to do. Yeah. So like so after she um, she um 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 she went to space she started doing ballet cl classes. Yeah, you, did, I I didn't even know that. I learned that just now. When you feel like somebody is not believing in you, you have to what? You have to believe in yourself first, right? And that's what she did. She believed in herself, and not only was she was the first woman, but she was the first black woman. And that that that's just amazing by itself, like. What I learned is that you could do anything you put your mind to and that man or woman or whoever can stop you from doing it. And for it to be International Women's Day, I am proud to be a woman. I am glad I'm a woman. I mean, we may go through our ups and downs and our emotional roller coasters as women, but our accomplishments are huge and it's big. And um, I'm very proud to be a woman, and I am I am uh, proud to have black women to look up to, like Michelle Obama. We got Sojourner Truth, we got Harriet Tubman, we got Rosa Parks, and then the list still goes on. But those are my favorite really ones right so there. So much black history. Yes, I love. Um, so you guys, thank you for um, watching us, and thank you for subscribing to this channel. If you have not, please subscribe to this channel, and thank you for being a part of me and Christian's history lesson. Peace. Um, I'm going to do more work with him, but I just wanted you guys to be a part of this, especially because it's National Women's Day, and um, I wanted to teach him more about women, but mostly, mainly, sorry, not mostly, but mainly um, a black astronaut woman, so that he know that women don't just cook and clean and wash dishes and do laundry that they can be astronauts, lawyers, doctors, whatever they put their minds and hearts to. So I love you guys. Peace, love. Peace. Hey guys, this is Mama Grissy here and I just wanted to let you guys know that um, these women right here are my inspiration. They have helped me and loved me and been there for me in so many ways. So I just wanted to recognize them and tell them that I love them. And happy National Women's Day!